Hey guys, it's Chimney Swift here from ChimneySwift11.com, and this is episode 70 of the Minecraft Files. And before we get to what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be migrating my dogs here for this episode so you guys don't have to listen to their barking. So we're going to pick them all up here and uh, be moving them along with me. Uh, I was just doing a test, the test recording of. Uh, ah, get out of here, come on. Uh, I was doing a test uh, recording and I couldn't hear anything. Well, I could hear stuff, but my dogs were all talking, and um, I know it gets a bit annoying, so I decided to migrate the herd. <laughs> I really don't need all these, honestly, but uh, we'll move them and, and just, uh, you know, it'll be better for video footage and everything, and so we're going to leave them right here for now and uh, we'll come and mess with them later I gotta still build them a dog house I gotta figure out time come here time I'm gonna do that and uh, I'm just gonna leave them here for now and they can hang out and bark there all they want today's episode comes from soon to be artist one and uh, they want me to build a uh, study with bookshelves and a desk so that's what we're going to do, and I'm adding on to the house here. It's not the most beautiful addition, but I have prepped... Oh, we forgot one. Darn it, come on. I have prepped for this episode. I've been, I felt like last couple episodes, you guys, I haven't really put in much effort into the Minecraft files, and I feel bad, because I know that's your guys' favorite series, or most of you anyway. And um, I wanted to spend a little more time on this one. So uh, I have gone out and collected some wood um, and I already started building a little bit and then I realized well I should be recording this because uh, I was going to do one thing I was just going to build this study room and then show you how to decorate the inside of it but um, you guys will probably want to see what I was actually building so I'm going to show it to you and I'm going to show you how to finish it up um, it's not really anything all that special but it's some for you guys to watch and I know you probably would, would want to see me build it so what I've done is I've taken the bedroom here and I've extended it off like this and I'm in the process of creating uh, the ceiling for it and um, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go above I'm gonna make this let's see let's make this uh, a three high roof so Let's try this. Actually, you know what? Since this is already angled. Mm, uh oh. Forgot to close out. Hold on. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to close out on my Twitter program that I was running. And um, let's uh, see. Oh, no. Uh, dang it. Because this is is uh, already, I'm using the steps. I'm trying to think if I want to, how I want to do this. No, you know what? I'm just going to build like this. And if it looks bad, then it looks bad. I really don't care right now. Um, and we'll just put the rest of the ceiling on like this. So we can have a three high ceiling. Let's get a stack of 64 wood out of that guy. And, oh no, I always do that once every episode, I swear. Ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> Not great. Actually, while I'm down here, I am going to make the supports for... Man, my game is lagging a lot. Oops. I'm going to make the supports for um, the deck that I've made. So I'm going to use fences here and make the supports. Alright. I've already got the cobblestone there. Probably made way too many. Yeah, I did. I made way too many fences, but hey, you know what? Sometimes, sometimes it, what I have is is enough. It's plenty. All right, so this is probably not in the best location, considering it's right in front of the door there. But you know what? It's a back door, and I don't really walk like straight on it anyway. So whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build the rest of this room 
and we've made it nice and nice and large. The ceiling is nice and high. And what I'm going to be doing here is finishing this off. And then, oh, let's see, what happens if I cut this away? All right, I want to take this and keep building this way with that, like that. There we go. Now the whole room is full, except for this little guy right here, which is part of the outside wall. Now, when I think of a study, I don't really think of a well-lit room. I think of kind of dark and mysterious and so that's what I want to do. I want to put this darker wood, these logs, in here like this. That's going to create a, kind of a darker feel. Um, and we can even probably do this, let's do this on the side as well, just because I think it would look nice. Oh no, my axe ran out. Darn it. Actually, I think I can please a lot of a lot of my fans by doing this next thing here. I think I have diamonds down here. I don't believe I have a diamond axe. Yep. And I'm going to use three of my diamonds that people have been asking me to use for a long time. And I'm going to craft myself a diamond axe. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Okie dokie. Alright, so let's go back up here. And we've got the workbench there that I can use. Now this room is pretty dark. Um, and that's fine. Let's do the same over here. All right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna line it with torches, just maybe on that side or something. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. No, I don't like that. Um. Oh, look, we have a, a free look into the shower right there. We should probably replace that. There we go. And what we're going to do now is we're going to create the desk. And to do this, uh, we're going to need some wooden stairs. And we're going to need um, some, we're going to need a, two signs and some wooden planks. But yeah, you can't stack the signs. I forgot about that. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take the chair and we're going to place the chair uh, a little off center there. And then we're going to put the sides of the chair on like this. And that's going to be the desk chair. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this wooden block here and we're going to make the desk. And this is kind of our little desk right here. So, this is the study. And then along this side over here, oh, wait, we can't do that because of the chair arms. Ooh, oh, I know what we can do. Let's take this and we're gonna make paper. So we're gonna take the sugar cane and we're gonna make paper. And we've got one extra. And now we're gonna craft books. And we're gonna need, I'm not sure how many books. Let me, let me do the calculations real fast after I get this done. Alright, so I have seven books, and to make a bookshelf, you need to do this, and three across there. So I'm gonna need, I'm probably gonna need a little bit more, um, sugar cane. So let's, it's dark out right now, so let's sleep away the night real fast, and I think I should have some sugar cane growing. Um, we'll go grab that. And see if I can get some more bookshelves out of the sugar cane, which is fully grown. Hooray! Oh, hey, Mr. Creeper, across the pond. And hopefully, this will be enough to make one more bookshelf, which is probably all we'll need um, to create a proper study that looks pretty cute and cozy and fun and whatever else. So let's go back to the workbench. We're going to craft these guys again into paper. And I should only need about that much, I think. Nine. Yep, nine. We'll do it because we're going to need three books across the middle and the wood like that. And that's a bookshelf. So we've got three bookshelves now. 
and let's go in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them like this. So now we have a small study and you can build bookshelves up the wall if you want all the way up. Uh, that might look pretty nice. I just don't have enough reads right now to do that. And if you're in here and you want to study, just put on the uh, just put the torches up and you have a well lit room. And let's see here. Oops. Can I put torches? Can you place torches on a bookshelf? Yes, you can. Um, and now you have a working study. So you can guys can come in here and hang out. Um, let's have another good idea. Another thing you could probably do is put a chest in, in the room like this. And let's do... Do this. Check this out, you guys. If we put a chest up here, we can place books in the chest, and that can be how we get books off the bookshelf. So you have books in your chest there, and your desk, and your chair. And that's it, guys. So thank you for soon to, uh, soon to be artist one for sending in this request. And like I said, this is episode 70 of the Minecraft House. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Please. Uh, please rate this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so guys the ratings always help it tells me if you like what I'm doing or if not if you don't like what I'm doing and uh, That is our wow dysfunctional looking study there. I'll have to touch that one up and make it look a little bit better So yeah guys, thanks for watching and um, I will talk to you later. All right. Bye